So currently I'm in the process of moving. I can't stay in my house no more. Blue face and broke the door off my fridge. What the fuck is crazy? Looking for my brother. So I haven't been home since I haven't been home. Now, this is because of the situation with Blueface. She already had to move out because of what Carlissa did, just popping up. And now, Blueface done made it worse, which I'm pretty sure that's a headache. But I feel like she did this to herself. I feel like a lot of people had hope that she would just do better and that, it, you know, something would click. And nothing has clicked thus far. But I also feel like when you're dealing with Blueface, you're dealing with a narcissist, you're dealing with somebody that will manipulate you because we, you know, point fingers at Krishan. Oh my gosh, she won't leave but then you got to look at Jaden too Jaden yes she has been there for 10 years but look at what she's been through before Krishan there was another person and another person and another person that's just who he is and unfortunately a lot of people are you know criticizing Krishan I guess because she's more famous than the other ladies but at the end of the day Krishan and Jaden are one and the same it's just I feel like he puts hands on Krishan because that's the kind of connection they have very weird but some people are just like that. I do feel like he is abusive and I feel like he abuses people in different ways. With Krishan, it's more physical. With Jaden, it's more of a mental abuse as you can see no matter what this man does or says whatever the case may be she is going to stick beside her man and it's just sad to watch my thing is I see a lot of the times people will put full blame on Krishan and yet they see this man putting hands on multiple females and nobody really says anything about that they say well these women you know keep going to him they keep dating him they keep you know laying on their backs for him this is what they deserve and to me that is little victim blaming and that's something I just can't get with so yeah you have a lot of people riding for Blueface and Jaden but then you have a lot of people also bashing her and for some reason a lot of you feel like she doesn't get bashed but when I go on her live every single time what do you see in the comments why are you holding his head that way why is he in the studio with you when he's not in the studio where's your son you need to be with your son or you know why does he still have that outfit on or why does this why does that anything she does is always going to piss somebody off and people are always going to have something to say about it and you know I'm praying for her I'm praying for everybody involved because I could not imagine living my life out for everyone to see and criticize like this is a lot but I also feel like when it comes to Krishan, Jaden and Blueface they all have unresolved childhood trauma their village failed them so all of them have something going on because their village failed them when you have kids you show them examples you show them the right the wrong the yes the no obviously something went wrong somewhere this is something that was built up and this is their character so that's something from youth their village has all to do with this whether that's the school the neighborhood the government everybody who was involved in raising those three people are the reason why they are the way they are and then when it comes to healing sometimes it takes a while because you don't even really realize what you got going on you don't realize you got anxiety depression you don't realize you might have ADHD or what schizophrenia uh, freaking bipolar you don't really really notice that until you're like in your late 20s 30s stuff like that and then now you're getting medicated now you're you know trying to heal yourself and it could take a lifetime then briefly I wanted to talk about Christian Jr. and the fact that a lot of people are saying that he has fetal alcohol syndrome I did see another syndrome that people kept talking about because his cries sound very high pitched <laughs> And after she went live talking about the fact that she has to move, she also uh, went live again to talk about the fact that she actually had rules in regards to him paying for her home and things like that. And I think not a lot of people are seeing that. Like when it comes to Jaden, there's rules. She could only be with other women. She cannot be with no other men. She cannot record songs with other men. Like there's rules to being with Blueface. And you know, Krishan is not with that. Why, why won't you just give the credit? She bought her own house. Like, nigga, nigga, you ain't buy shit. That is not your money. I swear to God, niggas be, <laughs> niggas be playing. Hey. I don't know. Then he talking about, I tried to do this with her. She just was, 
Why is you lying, yo? The rules was okay. If he bought my this, this was Blueface rule. If he bought my bought my house, help me get it. Cause the only thing I need, I won't need no money. I need a cosign. Cause woo -woo, I don't need no cosign no more. Cause I got my shit figured out. But I'm trying to think. Cause I just lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, he, his rules, bro. His rules was. If I had a house, I can't have company. Jan Marsh can't live or stay the night, like, um, and his pussy. I got a whole story for y'all tonight. I don't understand how this woman keeps, like, trying to make me seem like I didn't try to help her pay her bills prior. I didn't try to help her find a situation. I didn't try to help her plan for this baby. The baby father is Blueface. You're Krishan Rock. I got a whole family in my house. I told her, look, I will be homeless with you until we find a spot. So I leave my house and I stay in the hotel with her. And that's what he's upset about. The fact that he thought he had, you know, two women on his roster and only one is really paying attention. And what's crazy to me is, you know, looking at these text messages, it doesn't look like he's being forced to speak to her because at the end of the day, did he not say that that was not his baby? So if that's not your baby, then why do you need to speak to this woman? That's not your child. You said she's delusional. You said she's this, you said she's that, then you should be manning up. And, and listen, a lot of people are saying, you know, Blueface is going to tell it like it is like these women can't be mad because Blueface is going to speak the truth and tell it like it is. So so why can't he be a big boy tell her like it is and tell her to leave him alone why can't he block her why can't he do these things everybody keeps saying Krishan is forcing herself on him when it's actually the other way around he tries to make her look like a crazy person because he texts certain things and then they'll get on the phone and he'll say something else so then like her messages it just look a little crazy like she pulled up because he asked her to stop by. No, you did not see that in text messages, but their conversation lets it be known that he wanted to engage in that conversation and he probably wanted her to pull up. They're chasing each other and they're use they're both using this baby to chase each other. It's not just him. It's not just her, but both need to be held accountable. That's all I'm saying. I want y'all to comment below though. Tell me what y'all think about this situation. Let's chop it up like we always do. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.